doubt myself, I know better. All of you critics be acting like you know better. Blowing the smoke, but I know when it just settles. So I'm in my element, it's everything that this level to the game. All of those dark nights I got there, breaking my back to make it out, got me feeling like pain. I ain't never need your help, I know you wishing me well. A penny for your tough, but see no change. Snap for the sun like Diddy. The riches got a mad ass son, I'm like Billy. I ain't never switch up, whole team with me. But known for my city like OAGZ. Step the pace as long as you finish. Consumers find a way, it's like Hey everyone, it's Caleb from Wondershare Filmora, here to empower your inner video creator. Have you tried Filmora 11 yet? It's packed with new features and effects that make editing more fun. If you haven't already, you can download Filmora 11 at the official Filmora website, filmora.wondershare.com, or at the link in the description. Today, we'll be creating an intense basketball video with speed ramping and glitch effects in Filmora 11. These effects can show off your filming, editing, and basketball skills. You've probably seen speed ramping used in suspenseful moments of a basketball video before, like a ball bouncing on the rim or a long buzzer beating shot. With speed ramping, we can slow down our most exciting moments to show our audience, and then speed it up again to keep pace with the music or action. The BCC glitch effect will add intensity and a feeling of chaos to your best move. Today, we're gonna show you two examples. One using the speed ramping that comes with a Filmora 11 standard license, and one using the standard speed settings. These effects can work well for any action, sports, or dance video. But today, let's learn two ways to edit a basketball video using speed ramping and glitch effects. For our example footage, we want to make sure we have set our camera to a higher frame rate for filming this type of video, since we're going to use slow motion. Your phone probably has a slow-mo mode that will allow you to capture more frames. The more frames, the smoother the slow motion effect. We chose to shoot handheld because it allows us to move around our talent and catch some of their movements and action while giving us a shaky camera effect for added suspense. Make sure to change camera angles. Try getting shots low to the ground, as well as higher angles. This will give us more options to cut between when we edit our video. We also got shots of dribbling, shooting, and just running with the ball to work with. Finally, when filming sports videos, we may not be able to get close to the action. For that reason, try shooting on a longer lens. Once we have all of our footage, let's move into Filmora 11 to edit. The speed ramping feature is included in a Filmora standard license. To purchase, you can click on the shopping cart icon at the top right of the Filmora window. This will bring you to a page where you can pick a license plan that works for you. Let's start by opening Filmora and dragging our footage down to the timeline. Let's use the shot of the basketball bouncing on the rim before it goes in. Right click the clip and click speed in the menu and choose speed ramping to open the settings window. You can choose different speed templates in the setting window. Or you can choose customize to adjust the keyframes and create the speed you want for the video. The lower keyframe is when the video is slowest and the peak is when the video is fastest. The middle parts between the keyframes are when it speeds up or slows down to reach the specific speed you set on each keyframe. Grab the keyframes and move it up to increase the speed, or down to slow down the speed. You can also add more keyframes by moving the playhead to the spot where you want to change speed and clicking the plus button. For our basketball footage, let's slow down the footage right before an important moment, like the basketball bouncing on the rim right before going in the net. Then, as the ball is about to enter the net, let's speed it up again. This way, we build tension for the ball going in and for the glitch effect we will add later. After adjusting our keyframes, we can play it back to see if we like the result. Let's learn another way to achieve a similar effect using the standard speed settings. Start by dragging your clip to the timeline and double clicking to open the speed menu. Then, choose the starting speed you want your video to be with the speed slider. Next, move your playhead to the point in the video you want to change speed. Here we will make a cut, 
and then double click that clip to open the speed menu again. Change the speed with the speed slider again. And once more, move to where we want our speed to change and make another cut. Change the speed once more and watch back the clip. A speed ramping style effect. Now let's add some intensity to our shots with the BCC video glitch effect. We're going to use Boris FX BCC video glitch. This is a plugin that requires a separate purchase. To buy the effect plugin, when you export your video, you will see a pop-up asking you to purchase the effects. Click on Purchase to open the Filmora standard license page again. Here we can find the Boris FX and New Blue FX plugins. Go to Effects, then BCC Stylize, and drag the BCC video glitch effect above the place you want it in the timeline. Double click the effect to open its settings. At the top of the screen is a drop down menu that has tons of glitch presets to try out. We're going to scroll down and find Shake with Motion Blur. This preset will give us the exact look we want for our basketball video to make the speed ramping more intense. We can change the settings around after choosing a preset. Let's turn up the glitch intensity to have our glitch a little more extreme. Moving down further, we can change the glitch duration to our specific needs. Now we can watch back our video to see our glitch with motion blur effect. With the combination of the speed ramping feature and glitch effects, you can bring any sports video to the next level. And that's how to use speed ramping to create an intense basketball video in Filmora 11. What are some of your favorite sports video effects? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for new videos on the channel. Keep creating, and I'll see you next time.